In today's problem we're looking at a GLM model where the response follows a geometric distribution. As in problems 21 and 22 we're going to find the likelihood, the score function and the information matrix. So I'm going to work this fairly quickly because the full detail of the algebra, the methods, is done in 21. Okay, first of all can I just correct something? Uh, I just want to, because this geometric probability mass function is given by this, can I just write an F here instead of the P, then it doesn't confuse the P's, okay, so I'm going to use that notation. So show that part A short belongs to the exponential family, finding these components. All right, so I'll write it down. Okay, and then there's the answer. I'm not going to explain it too much because uh, I've done it before in detail. Right, so part B, we're asked now to find the log likelihood function. So the method here is given the logit link it's saying so logit link by definition is this thing here and the link function is a function that relates the mu to the linear predictor i.e. this let's call that e to i like in standard text to find the log likelihood let's, uh, let's just consider for one observation let's consider it for observation i then log likelihood function is this for observation i but the log likelihood is a function of ultimately of the parameters beta so we want to express betas in here. Well where do the betas come in? Well p is a function of beta through this. So just looking at this, if take the e of both sides and I get this. I think you can see what I'm going to do here. Right, get a relationship and I substitute it in. So now I've got beta in here and I've got beta in here. The like log likelihood for the all n observation then the sum of log likelihood for the i observation over all observations. So stick a sum sign through here, put brackets, and I'm done. Note the log likelihood value here is a scalar. That's a scalar. Because let's say let's say beta has k parameters, so it'll be k by one. This is a row vector, it's one by k, so that's a scalar. Alright? Likewise, that's a scalar. Score. Well, score is going to be a column vector, a k by one column vector. As in the usual other problems that we saw, let's look at the score for just observation i. Only thing to point out here, guys, is be careful about algebra. You could, you're using the uh, using the was it chain rule a few times here, so careful about this. So I've done it in a different color. You can see that is from differentiating this using the chain rule. You can try. It. I, I suggest you try it often when people try this can miss say miss this bit from it from the from the answer check the dimensions that k by one yep because that's scalar that's a scalar x i is they are k by one vectors the score for the all n observations just sum across just like before the log likelihood I sum it over all n observations I have this where I pull out common factor x i I've got my bracket in the wrong place there you go so it's a scalar times a column vector um, a hint that we've got this uh, is um, well not a hint check we always have um, a minus there'll be some positive minus some negative something else all right it's always of that form Right, information, this is a matrix, it's a k by k. So let's do it for the if observation. We're finding the Hessian, minus the Hessian, so uh, we'll get rid of the negative sign here. Um, pointing at the wrong place here, get a negative sign here. This, if I differentiate this guy with respect to beta, I get all this. It's a big mess. Have a go, chain rule and product rule or you can use the quotient rule up to you I've used you can see the product rule the equivalent alright so I can see like this is actually probability and then if that's minus because I've got minus here probability square check it how do I know that because the link function says I get this from the link function so one minus each side I get this and then alright you can see you can follow that through alright so that bit in green explains how I get to this right then now I need to take the expectation of this and sum it or someone take the expectation well 
the x is a constant, x i is a constant, so then you've got the y, well, expectation of a random variable y is for geometric is 1 over p. Something might you might have proved in a, in a basic stats course, or know that we've shown that's equal to the first derivative of this c function in the exponential family above. All right, so this first derivative of the scalar respect to theta, and then we write in terms of the parameter. So um, what we have is this, this is the information. Notice what we've done here, we've replaced the little y by the big y, because the little y is just a constant, given my i, and we're interested in the random variable. Okay, so there you go. Well, this p cancels with that p, that simplifies, and so we've got the answer. Uh, comments. Information is a function of beta, it says here. Well, where is the beta? The beta is in p, so p is a function of the betas through the definite through the logic link that we've used. Was the canonical link used for this problem? Well, we used the logit link, and that is not the canonical link in this question because the canonical link, link sets the function g to this theta, which in this case is log of 1 minus p. So that's the canonical link. Remember, or recall that the choice of canonical link is because it has uh, gives uh, MLE nice properties when it comes to estimation.